What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Jesse and Mike. How's it going? What's up? Guys, we're discussing Into the Badlands Season 2, Episode 5, titled Monkey Leaps Through Mist. That's right. That's the title. You know, I wish these titles actually had something to do with what's going on. You know what I mean? Like it's. I mean, I guess the thing is, it could technically be Nas, because he does kind of look like a monkey. Is it like that, or is it the fighting <laughs> I mean, stuff? We saw that I think it's the, the fighting style, thing, or something right? like that, because this, um, because when he starts to fight, we'll get into when he starts to fight. But very, to, to preempt this whole thing, when when Sonny begins to fight, the, what he does is he with this. You know what I'm saying? Like the, I don't know the name of that stance, but I, I assume yeah, it I could be know, like a monkey type stance. It looked like it might have been a monkey type stance. Anyway, guys, what's going on? Welcome to this uh, episode. Welcome to uh, this discussion. Uh, we're going to go right ahead and read the description of it. Uh, oh, right. Got it right here. So, Sonny and Beji get help from an unlikely source. Not really that unlikely, but it comes with a price. Yeah, we kind of knew that was going to happen. The widow considers a risky gambit. Not all that risky, considering she can probably kill him. Uh, mm. While MK enacts a dangerous plan. I mean, he is one of the most powerful ones there, probably, so it's not really that dangerous. Uh, I, there I, we go. I, I, like, I, I really enjoy the commentary on the synopsis, man. It's yeah. good. I like it. <laughs> I enjoy that. No, but, yeah, their synopsises are so dumb. Like, that. That that's not even, like... Yeah. Wh- they just, like, they're, they're extrapolating shit when that shit didn't really even... You're, what plan is he enacting? What, we, we saw him run away. To get the fuck out. Yeah. You know, like, I hey, guess, but... Training. I'm a duck out. Pre- yeah, prematurely. Anyway. Well, I look, say. why don't we... I mean, um... Y- y- you want to start an MK since we're there? We need to start an MK or Lydia and uh, Jade. Oh, let's get Here Lydia Let's get Lydia and Jade out of the way. So, the, obviously, yeah. the, 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 the episode opens up with Ryder's wake or viewing or whatever, and Jade decides to turn it into um, an opportunity to make herself Baroness. Um, in which she calls her the reign, she, she's calling it the barony, which is weird. Right, Jesse, what, what did you call it? The baronhood. Baronhood, yeah, like, I, I don't know, right? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think baronhood's Not like than, Robin Hood, one word, no. baron dash hood. Yeah, there like barony, I don't know. I guess, I guess that's a legit way of saying that. But anyway, yeah, so she makes herself fucking baron, which we kind of knew was going to happen. Um, and then, uh, later on, Lydia comes in and she sees her son and they decide that they're gonna, she's gonna go after Quinn. So that whole part was just like, I don't know, like, mm-hmm. well, it didn't get them too far. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you know, no. I mean, it annoyed Jesse because like you said, it was like a third of the episode. It, it, retra- or it, it took away, there we go. I can't think of the word took away too much time from like you could have had more sunny and it was, a, it was a little it was a little bit i mean i don't think it was too too i mean it didn't really hit, click to me to to feel that way that you know like you said that it was it was too much of them but i mean i think they needed to give a little bit of grieve like a grieving uh a especially bit, for but not like for, for lydia it really yeah. was only three scenes it really wasn't yeah. that it was three bad. scenes each like maybe four-ish was, minutes was each fucking, it was the girl power episode you know, you know? i mean look it's, imp- it's imp- look it's important because not only does lydia go she, how she knows where he is i don't know i guess that must be something that yeah. he it was his fallback that's his bunker yeah. so she obviously she knows about that because she's privy to a lot of that that information from him um you know, and Jade, there wasn't a lot from her. She's she's gonna be useless as a as a as a baroness. So, if, yeah. I you know she's gonna she? get. Well, I think she'll get taken over very quickly. Oh, I, <laughs> if you watched the live reaction, I don't know if you included it yet, but I was hoping that the guy would just stab her and you know. Yeah, take no, it's in there. Shit, it's I was there, hoping yeah. fucking Quinn when he saw her in the room after uh, you know when he the made his first episode, arrival, yeah, he was gonna, he was gonna it, fucking yeah. toss her over the the balcony, you know. Yeah. But I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, though. I mean, it felt long. It probably wasn't as long as I thought, but it felt um, long. You just well, yeah, you know what it is? There was it was stale. those are kind of stale moments. You yeah. know, there wasn't that much reaction from Lydia. I would have assumed there would have been more, but then again, look, Lydia. 
uh, you know, I give these characters a lot of benefit of the doubt. I give the writers a lot of benefit of the doubt because the she, you know, where is she? She she's like in this weird zone now. Where the hell was she that they were able to find her and get her involved? And now all of a sudden she's she's back in 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 Jade's um you know court basically, and she's wearing the colors. She's wearing the armadillo red and like you know what I mean, and they're going they're yeah. going after Quinn. Like she's just allowing her to go after Quinn. So that's that for me. That's where the story of this episode kind of falls short a little bit. But then well, it sh- it shows that they're ballsy at least, eh. you know. And I, and to to get to you know to get to the Lydia thing really quick was you know she, I said this too during the reaction, you know they both had a common enemy, you know, so you put them two together and you know you got to give it to them in a way. I mean they tried. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they definitely tried. All right, you know what? Let's let's uh, we let's be done with them. Let's just well, yeah. one yeah. second. We we kind of glossed over the fact the reason she didn't have that much of a reaction to Ryder's death. He kind of was a douchebag to her. So there but you go. Still, yeah, but it's still her son, though. You know, I mean, I don't know. People can hold a grudge pretty hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, again, like you said. So, um, but what, let's move on. Let's go to MK because MK. Uh, not a lot with MK, but. Yeah. Um, I, I'm assuming it's important. I, I said to this, I said this to you guys. I'm sorry, I can't talk tonight. Said this to you guys off camera, but they're to me they're they're dripping out MK's story. We're seeing a lot of the same scenes, yeah. and we're seeing him. I feel like they're they're dripping his story out. I feel like his story will be more prominent towards the end of the season. Once these characters get to a certain place, he's going to link up or link into the story somehow. Yeah, this time around, he enacts a plan to get away from the monastery and he sees this hanging tree which we don't know he takes he takes um link's clothes okay we're calling this kid link because he was just like link from legend of zelda so um again yeah not a whole lot but they don't have too much time to work with though half of the season they're gone that's true you know i i agree with what chris says that you know we didn't get too much from mk so far but it will pay off because now yeah. I feel like let's see let's see what happens within these next few episodes, handful of episodes. If he's actually going to maybe save somebody's ass, you know what I mean? Uh, Sonny's in trouble. Someone, you know, and, and I just gain feel control. like he's going to gain control. Uh, the, the only thing, uh, the only thing I'm a little disappointed about with with um, MK leaving is the fact that he does he. You know, I believe the master when she says you need to harness your energy, you right, need to learn right. to control this thing. So obviously, he didn't fulfill his training. He yeah. still is. At, he's still not at that point where he can control it. Is so now, now a is time he, to leave? Right. Is he going to figure it out on his own? Right. Or you know, is he going to be able to control himself on his own? Or is you know, is it going to be the same old MK to where you know he gets that cut that that you know and he, he gets hurt. That, yeah. You know. And he changes. The 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 you know in the next episodes coming attractions if you haven't watched it go take a look at them but yeah. they they um they it's a gonna it looks like it's gonna be a little more MK stuff um yeah. it looks like we're gonna get the abbots which are those the monks of these you know uh that one dude that that's been that was in the season finale last time and the guy that captured MK yeah. and so we're gonna get these guys it looks like Sunny fights them so Sunny somehow gets involved either with, with maybe not with mk just yet but somehow they're also attacked they're close by, by or something yeah i don't know something like that but looks they to be looks like we're going to get a little more information with that stuff with the abbots yeah. and and you know how they harness their powers and stuff yeah it's gonna be good yeah yeah definitely will be so i think that wraps up in k yeah Let's that'll do it. good stuff the, uh, good imagery though i will say the train yeah. stuff good imagery okay i, I love the waterfall and stuff oh, as yeah, always good. yeah <laughs> for the 10th time, time yeah for the 10th time yeah Hey, right. It looks cool. I mean, give him that. Hey. <laughs> uh, Sunny so, and Beji. Yeah, the uh, the dynamic duo. Dynamic duo. Okay, obviously, it's setting up a situation where Sunny isn't going to let what is going on in this camp happen. But before we get to, d- d- into it proper, um, they introduce a new character, Nas, and I want to just go ahead and, and just give this show kudos for I love the formula. Obviously, you could tell there's a formula, and I was thinking about this today, like before we were recording, how their formula is story, 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 fight scene towards the end, in middle, whatever it is, there's always a, yeah. there's always one or two major fight scenes, maybe a major and then a minor, whatever. 
that's how they do it and we come to expect it and that's great and that's fine because that's what it is and you have to have that it's a com- it's a live action comic book you got to have those times yeah. but i love the fact they introduce new characters you know i don't need one every episode because it could get a little well, tedious but i really enjoy it these are characters that could and most likely will come back i like it get them in get them out this guy's a scumbag, although you you know, he's like, I hadn't intended to do this. I wasn't intending to be a, in the people yeah. business, you know, but Well, remember, remember, we're not we're seeing a part of this world and this landscape that we that we didn't see in the first That's episode. The point. Everything we're, was it's all inside. Right, yeah. We're seeing they have to give us who's in control or yeah, who's man. Yeah, of here and who's there. Who's on, on the outskirts, who's, on the who's outskirts, bounty hunting, exactly. who's, yeah, hell yeah, and the man. Fucking, the fucking costume, I, I, that dude was a fucking, he was a cool looking yeah, character. Yeah, he was. Sir. Looked you know, a lot like a human ape hybrid, though. <laughs> yeah, you would say he. They, I mean, we see a lot of darkening, even with um, Portia, you know, the, pro, the, the doll. We see a, a little a lot of darkening around the eyes and that kind of makeup that they're that they're giving these people. It was, um, you know, even the la- even even the the landscape, the junkyard looking area that they were in, and this fact, you know, these these old cars, and when Sonny is fighting, um, you know, the, these guys and kicking through the buses and and all these kind yeah. of things, you know, so that they, they've been, you know, we all agree they've been really. Um, they're unique. They, they They're uni- know, unique yeah, to they the environments, exactly. and it's and it's it's fun. It's so fun exactly. seeing like we're in a junkyard. What can we do? Set up two buses, man. Let them fight in between buses, like. And yeah. then the choreography comes out of that, and it's fantastic. It's so the much different fun. Levels and the yeah. little staircases. Yeah. It's that, so you know, much fun. They, yeah. Yeah, they really used every, you know, they're using different, you know, they're using one particular car and stacking them five different ways to turn them into. Yeah. A building in a way, you know what yeah. I mean. So, um, you, yeah, it was. It's it's also cool to see, um, you know, after the fact that um, you know Sonny doesn't. Sonny decides not to. Obviously, he's not going to sleep with Portia, and we're getting more of what Nas is about. You know, we're seeing more from 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 Beji. You know that I like. I like to see that. You know, and I mentioned this, and I think we all really agree on this that he's not just comedy in a way he's he saved sonny's ass quite a bit you know by yeah. throwing him by throwing him the sword and by you know lucille 2.0 knocking you know nas on the head when you know when they were going to leave and sonny just wasn't going to play especially when he sees you know how nas was treating these dolls and the little girl and you know porsche's daughter yeah. and how he was just toying with sonny and and uh yeah it was it was it was really good it was good to see Sonny's conscience that he didn't turn um, into this just a plain clipper like. Um, well, that was the whole. Was that was the whole reason. That was the whole point of season one is that he wasn't this cold stone killer. Yeah. What was, he, what was the guy's name? The one from last week. Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Yeah. yeah they, you see how how different they are. You know how yeah. Sonny has that heart in a way. He wants to see his fucking kid. And he doesn't want to see a child. Well, that's what started this whole thing, man. For Sonny, at least. That's what yeah. started the whole thing in season one, is that he had... It's kind of ironic. He spent all of season one wanting to get out of the Badlands. Now he wants to get back in, in and season two. And I bet you and I bet you, it's such a great... I bet you that was something that they come up with for season two. They were like, he's going to try and get out, and then he's going to get out, and then he's going to try and get back in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he didn't want to just leave the... He wanted to leave the Badlands with his family. <laughs> he didn't want to... Uh, he still got out of the Badlands. Can't can't deny that he yeah. got what he was after. Yeah, let's uh, right. briefly talk about the fact that, um, you know, the whole situation, you know, with with the child, you know, the the, the selling, you know, the children as dolls and like the young girls and like how they, you know, it's like it's really crazy and it's like it's a, it's an interesting situation that you're gonna put the you know Sonny in. Obviously, he's not going to let that happen. He's not. He. he of yeah. course. And he was like, you know, Beiji. He's like, come on, man. This isn't our fight. Now's not the time. You want to get back to your family? We got to go. And so he's just <laughs> like, I can't do it, man. I just I can't let this happen. But then he goes ahead and he fucking he decimates that woman. Like he just, you know what I mean? Like, if she doesn't die, I don't. I don't know how that doesn't. I oh mean, no, she she was stabbed like pretty close. He and stabbed it was a he stabbed her like in the kidney yeah. area, and he tore and he twisted and yeah. then tore it out like. Mm. 
anyway, point is, is like that whole situation that, you know, that, you know, that's just, you know, it's, a, it's that that's a disgusting situation. But again, they get some good people to be these people. Like, and I keep thinking oh, yeah. like ha- that act of being like, well, I guess I'm being a dirtbag today. You know, like, I guess I'm going to be a <laughs> disgusting creep and prey on, you know, little girls and, and women. And it's like, you know, but, but again, you know, it's just, you know, very cool situation. Put Sonny in that situation where it's like, f- he, and he knew it. And he's like, damn it. Absolutely. I guess I'm, I'm just going to. without you know. her. Yeah. And then also, you know, and another thing, another scene I just want to mention real quick is when Portia comes in and, and he tells her, look, I just want, you could just chill as much as you want. I don't, I don't want this. I don't want that. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, can you kill him? This and that. Again, they're moving this story so quick. If that was Game of Thrones, that would have been like two, three episodes of plot you know what i'm saying no, I'm, nothing that. against game of thrones i love game of thrones but i'm just saying like they're 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 pushing it forward like they're pushing this story so it's a very contained things and i really like it i really really enjoy it you know is it bad i came up with a dialogue for a game of thrones scene like that no you want to share it oh sonny of house whatever the freak your last name uh, sonny of <laughs> house Dilla. clipper yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah uh can you not like get rid of this guy for me please come on like totally come on that's not three episodes <laughs> yeah. later fine i will not get rid of that guy leave my tent yeah, yeah. well watch what you know i can see i can see bringing up um porsche's wound i can see her not making this trip after they escape and sunny maybe even adopting this little girl so hey, you know what just, what so so it'd be beigey this little girl and him yeah it's just, it's just pile on people onto this and, as yeah, I can see back, her yeah. dying in the back seat of the fucking Mad Max vehicle. You know, yeah. Basket. You know, and, and honestly, and I will say, to protect you know, protect my daughter, kind of a thing. Yeah, know? he's got to get the practice in. But you know what? I will say, um, they they've definitely t- zigged and zagged, man. I mean, mm-hmm. some of it is like, okay, yeah, it's predictable. But then from that predict predictable moment, they'll zag and they'll do something else. And I really enjoy. It just keeps you on your toes, like, oh shit, okay, cool, cool, cool. You know. So I, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, okay, is that enough, Sunny and Beji? Yeah, let's move on to the bread and butter of this episode, Mister Crazy himself, Quinn. 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 Good old Quinn. I mean, w- I mean, what else can we say about Quinn? You know, uh, Martin. I can't say his last name. What's how you say his Cossacks. last name? Cossacks. Cossacks. Martin Cossacks. So just, it's just great. He, I, you could tell he just has yeah. fun being this guy. I love the fact that. You have him. He see again. I said it in the live reaction. Said it in the review. But I wasn't. I didn't think that this was gonna. I thought. I didn't think he was going to get affected by his son's death so quickly. I thought it would be like two episodes from now, or towards the end. I assumed at some point he was gonna see his son because that's what they normal. That's the normal trope. But I. Th- I think that they've tied it into his condition, his brain tumor. And I really enjoy that. Yeah. I, that's how I read. It. I don't know how you guys read it, but that's how I read it. Is that not only has he, they've tied these visions of his dead son into his condition, and also pull out his uh, psychosis, his psychosis, and and all of the things that his subconscious is holding on to, like the fact that Vale isn't really helping him, how uh, she wants to leave, how mm-hmm. you know all, all of these things that that are in his mind his these um uh what's the word uh you know these doubts that he has you know yeah. his psyche his subconscious yeah. yeah yeah i mean i can see i can i can totally agree with that i don't necessarily see it i i agree with you in the fact that you know first of all we learned by his henchman his number one henchman guy i forgot exactly what his name when he was when he was um i don't know uh, his name atta- interviewing if you'd say Vale. Yeah. Yeah. And he was saying, listen, you're lying to me. I, I, you can trick you can trick Quinn, um, but I know the deal and all this kind of thing. Um, I think it's, you know, he mentioned to Vale about um, the headaches and and you're still getting these headaches. And before this episode, we didn't really we didn't know if he was still getting these episodes because we even spoke about it in prior episodes. Uh, you know, is he cured of them? Or we, we, we didn't see anything. Are they off camera? So now, obviously, we know that he's he's still getting these. So I don't necessarily see it as him feeling guilt as his son more than just the show and the writers trying to put a play on um, a cool scene with Ryder being there. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't necessarily think it's it's a guilt thing for for Ryder over the fact that we're just it's just a it's a fun way 
to see Quinn going through these. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's manifesting. With, yeah, his his condition uh, coupled with the fact that he killed his son and the yeah. fact that the tumor's growing still, it's manifesting in that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, but again, well, like like we did mention, that that's Ryder's best performance ever. <laughs> yeah, the dead guy. <laughs> He dies, and that's when it he was gets the cool, dude. When he was leaning over, when he was leaving, and just whispering, you know, into Quinn's ear and saying, "Oh, when he was, you know, with the baby, and when he had the knife to Henry, and and he was telling, uh, you know, egging." It was his good conscience, bad conscience, really. Yeah. You know, bad conscience, bad conscience, bad conscience. And he turns around, and he yeah, yells well, at him. Remember what he yells like, at him? Shut up! I can handle this. Shut your <laughs> filthy mouth. Yeah, your filthy mouth. And it cuts, and he's not there, and he's looking back, and then she's looking at him like, "Oh man, this dude's lost it." Shut your filthy yeah. mouth. So you've been having us watch uh, frequently The Leftovers, and that reminded me so much of The Leftovers. I was like, Jesus Christ. Oh, with the father? <laughs> yeah, with, with the father. And, yeah. and, 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 and yeah, well, I'm not yeah. going to spoil it for Mike. Mike's Season. still not caught up to where yeah, we're at. No, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and with him later on. But, yeah, that reminded me so much of it. Also, the guy's name is Trapper, apparently. Trapper, okay. Rapper, He's okay. a Quinn lookalike. He could be his like brother. Yes. That guy, man, looks yes. just like yeah. just like Martin Cossack. He, he actually looks a lot like him in the IMDb too. <laughs> they're probably both from New Zealand. I bet you they're both from New Zealand. Is, is he? For, is is what's his name? Hopper, Trapper, Trapper Keeper. Trapper. I'll, Trapper. I'll check real quick. Trapper uh, Keeper. But anyway, yeah. So I mean, look, it was it was great. Again, we didn't mention how Val has to use her feminine wiles. To get what she wants, um, I did mention it in the review that I I love how she and I forget the actress's name now, but I love how she's very awkward and timid at it because that's not her thing. Like she's yeah. not like Jade or even Lydia, you know. No. Lydia's got a little bit of that in you know, or even or or the widow even. She's she's a female on the show that that doesn't have that. She's just plain Jane. Yeah. You know, she, hey, so she, she but but she's it. a woman and she's got the stuff and she can. Um, she's got the look. She's got the look. Uh, <laughs> you said, Mike, your quote was "sex as a weapon" in the yep. in the live react, which is which is very apropos because like that's she decides. I immediately decides this is what I'm gonna do. So she could have stabbed him during that scene, though. I know we were all like yeah, again, but those are the things that. You know, don't forget, she just cares right now. She's real, got that's, a baby. That's what would have happened in real life, yeah. yeah if you, you know, yeah, if you were in that circumstance. But of course, Henry, like you said, Chris, you know, yeah. she was he was still holding Henry, and I guess she doesn't want to. Hey, I I can see. You know, my question is to you guys: How long do we think Quinn is going to be around? You know, I know that Trapper kind of, um, you know, he he pretty much told Vale, "Listen, you better start healing him now." So, yeah. you know, in the beginning, um, <laughs> she left. Ain't no yeah. one healing him now. I'm I guess not. I guess not, right? So we'll we'll see how lo- how long he can last if he isn't being treated, or if maybe someone else will step up and have some kind of basic idea of what uh, what, what Dale was was doing. Yeah. But see, this is why. But this is why I'm really enjoying the show. Is that when you think that they're gonna go one way and stick with something for long, they just don't. She's gone mm-hmm. now. She's going to, and well, we saw in the preview, she gets taken by some other woman, not taken, but she gets saved or rescued uh, by somebody else out in the woods when Trapper and the crew are looking for her. So it's like, what are they, gonna, so now what the hell's Quinn going to do? Guess what? Now he's back with Lydia, though, because Lydia, he's going to grab Lydia. She's outside. He's going to bring in, he's going to be like, you know, like he says in the, again, the coming attraction, so you tried killing me, and she's like all like, ah. I just I jo- I really enjoy what's happening. I really enjoy where they take this story. Mm. They know what I think they know what they're doing. Like this channel AMC, man. I hope so. They've got so many shows. Like they know what to do, man. They know how to do the forty-five minute show right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You disagree if yeah. you want, but I think I think these people, these showrunners, they're picking really good showrunners. They know what they're well, doing. I mean, there's there's so much there's such a big difference between obviously AMC's number one show, The Walking Dead. Um, you know, this this show, Into the Badlands, is a martial arts action packed fantasy. Show. Yeah, you know what I mean. Post apocalyptic. So yeah, it's Walking Dead. It's more the plot. It's more the acting. It's yeah. more engaging to the audience because it puts you into this world. What would I do? 
in the Walking Dead world? How would I survive? Would I? What would I? You know what I mean? Yeah. This show is pretty much just great fucking great uh, martial arts, kung fu moves, and choreography. Uh, but not only that, it's landscapes. the it's the world itself, it's, locations, it's, yeah. the characters. Like it's so it's a comic it's, book. To it's me. not deep. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's not. Um, it's pretty much. It's not, boom, it's boom, not boom, that boom. much. Why, it's not thought provoking. It's, it's like yeah. It's like it's 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 more. It's like a comic book. It's short, quick. Get to in the there. Point. Get yeah. out. Get to the point. Based yeah. on the world, I'm going to guess we've only encountered probably a sixth of the world. That's what I'm going to take a guess at, because we haven't really seen the other Baron's land. We have not seen the other areas outside of the Badlands. We've only right. seen a little bit of the Sanctuary City or whatever it's called. True. And I think we've only seen the mines and Naz's place and Nathaniel's little oh, yeah. shack. So they listen, they can do so, so much with this. Yeah, we, we don't know how big the world is. Also, the guy is apparently out of Los Angeles, not New Zealand. Oh, so he's American. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey. Doppelganger. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. So, um... All right. I mean, was 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 there was there anything else? Any other side things you guys want to talk about? Just to wrap it up, tie up any loose ends that we have here. Any, any comments you wanted to make? Commentary that you want to make on some of the things? Favorite scenes? That's Ooh. maybe definitely now, definitely when the sword gets thrown to Sunny. Because now it's like it's game yeah. on. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say the beginning when he does, like Chris said earlier, the the monkey stance kind of a thing. It's, yeah, it's, that was awesome you know, too. Because N- Nas or whatever Nas Nas he Nas had, NOS. He said, "Listen, he's like, um, you know, you're unarmed, and I have my guys. But I guess you know, you don't realize who the fuck you're dealing with right now. And I think that's I'm sunny. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. he wasn't gonna let uh, he wasn't gonna let this." this go well know, one he's like you know he, one clipper you know you know a clipper's okay a clipper but one you know you think one clipper um some of my favorite stuff was in 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 nasa's camp when he's telling when beiji's like gonna you know get it on with the lady and he's like get he's like not in this tent you're not he's like get out get out like that that little <laughs> exchange was really fun for me um and then i you know when nas brings over uh portia and she's all busted. I mean, It'll you know, up. shitty, shitty fucking situation. And I'm not saying I like that, no. that that happened to her. But that that whole thing. Um, a little bit of realism. That that whole situation where he's sitting there and he's just and he doesn't move. And Beji's like, come on. And he's making his way towards the car. And he's just looking and he just turns back to the camera and, you know, to Nas. And he's just like, no, nah. well, the way they shot it. Yeah. The way they yeah I just love that. That, 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 and then Nas goes ahead and, and fucking stay at, like, that, that particular scene, like, you know, when I, when I write scenes, like, I, I try and write scenes like that, like, those decision-making scenes, like, you have a decision to make, and this is who you are, what are you gonna do? I loved that, yeah. that was, that was, that was really cool, um, and then the stuff with, and, and the stuff with, um, I have to say, I also love the stuff with, uh, Quinn. Um, and normally, I'm not I'm not a fan of the psychosis scene where the person you see them going through stuff. So those look kind of boring to me and stuff. But that was just I fucking they loved did it, well, it man. man. He, the when, he's a and great also actor. and also when and I'm not a huge fan of of the ghost of a person telling you to do stuff. Like I'm not a, that whole situation. I'm not necessarily a fan of. Okay, but this was done so well, and I was so excite like i was like i wanted to see more i wanted to see how it was going to play out and, and him yelling at him and fucking fantastic i loved it so anyway those are my favorite scenes yeah we didn't touch too much or at all really on the widow but some things happen there it's in motion oh my she god how can we forget quinn. the widow yeah the, the, what was the one big thing man she wants to team up with quinn that's the, that's the one big thing yeah and it was like maybe five minutes of dialogue from her on the screen with waldo yeah, and uh uh Tilda. She didn't, she didn't Tilda take his advice second. this time. Yeah, you no, know? that yeah. was that is a that's a huge thing, and we're gonna see that next episode as well. But I, yeah, damn, oh, phew, good thing, good thing you you brought that in, man, because that's a that's actually a big thing, and yeah, you huge. know, she's just, she's decided to go with Quinn, and again, that's what I'm saying. Like some of these story elements are like, yeah, there you go, like zag that shit, you know, zig and zag around, like don't just fucking hey, do the same old fucking, thing. They're gonna be a foursome, bro. They, you know, they're gonna be. They're gonna be a tough, uh, you know, a tough group to to attack. Well, they're the if... fucking outcasts, man. They're but the not two. Not only that, they're like 
the best, you know, the best fighters. They're also the, the best outsiders. Fighters. Yeah, they're yeah, the outsiders. Well, they're absolutely the outsiders, but they are. But we still they don't are the see. Players. I mean, we still don't know exactly how many. Because remember when I was saying when um, when Jade was. Well, you you're know, talking about Jade's guys now, though. No, no, no. But but how we didn't see many of the Clippers that Jade had when they were doing her little ceremony to become the new Baroness and all that kind of stuff. There's 10, 15, 20 guys there. So I'm just wondering. We still never seen anybody as a whole army to know exactly you how know many what? everybody has. I don't think they have armies. I think if you've got 20, 30 well, Clippers, that's a lot. Like that's your. I think it was mentioned in the first season that Quinn is the one with the most amount of Clippers, or used to be rather. He used to be, but that's my point. I don't think. Don't forget, Clippers are not your. They're not foot soldiers. These are. This is your. These are your fucking. They're not like stormtroopers. These are your elite stormtroopers. These are your. These are your elite guys. Yeah. You know they. Yeah, remember, exactly. Yeah, remember all the tra- Remember all the when we got a, when we got uh, from the first season. Remember how many people were training well, in the right, yard yeah. with Sonny, and there was younger kids. There, there was like, I, I have to say, hundreds of them being trained. What did know? they call yeah. them though? They called them Colts. Colts. Yeah. Cults. But then, what do they come become after Colts? They become Clippers, or are they something else? I, I'm gonna assume they would be because cogs, Clippers. cogs are the are the workers, dolls cogs, are the whores, Colts, and I think it's Clippers, cogs, Colts, Clippers, yeah. and then, and then you um, just they, so you become region. a Clipper your once region. you. Oh, I guess all right. So maybe yeah. Anyway, I just think they're a little more elite hey. than just regular foot soldiers. But then maybe then those yeah. are the foot soldiers because yeah. some of them just are not well, that good. Yeah. Next week is gonna be fucking cool. Yeah. That's yes, all I'm I really can't wait. To see the the uh, widow and and Quinn situation you know, arise and yeah, let's see what happens. You yeah, know, definitely. let's see what happens. Definitely, it's 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 a great show. Um, I'm I'm absolutely enjoying the show. But I think guys, I think that's going to do it for us. We've talked enough. Uh, 30, 30 minutes is, is long enough for you to listen to us talk about this. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. So don't forget uh, to go check out the uh, you know all the other stuff we got going on. Uh, check out the live reaction and the review that we did for this particular episode. Sir, and don't forget to reach us on all the social medias, uh, on YouTube especially. We like because we love getting all the comments from you guys. We love answering your questions. Don't forget to catch us on iTunes if you want to listen to us while you're driving to and from work or doing whatever you have to do. Or any Either place rev- you get podcasts. Any, it's, That's right. Do that. That's yeah. right. And, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Third Person Pod. Check us out. Yep. Yep. And uh, looks like it falls upon me. I got to tell you about this great service that you can go to comicbliss.com and get for three months, just three bucks with the code Third Person Pod. It's an unlimited amount of comics on all your iOS, Android, desktop, laptop, Mac, whatever you want, your devices. That's all it is. It's straight up comics from some of the best developers out there cheap as dirt publishers publishers developers publishers same difference <laughs> yeah third person he's got, he's got video games on his mind it's fine don't worry it's fine. Yeah. you get you, you guys got it you guys got it yeah but yeah go use that promo code guys it's gonna do it for us here at third person I want to thank you very much for all the support for all the comments keep them coming we love it um yeah i think this is gonna do it we're not gonna plug anything else uh, so, uh, you know, catch us on our next discussion for Into the Badlands and go check out those other videos. And we will see you uh, on the next episode. So, good night. Peace out. That's it.